My name is Busi Siwe. I'm from Pinoni. Um, I first came to Shakaina in 2017. To be precise, it is my seventh year here. And I can testify that God is here. Amen. God is here in this place. Um, my first testimony is that I'm having a grandson by the name of Prosper. Everyone knows Prosper. The Sunday school teachers, they know Prosper. Prosper, oh Jesus. He was a naughty boy. But my father, Prophet Isaka, he will say, this is a good boy. <laughs> so the teachers were having a headache in Sunday school. The teachers uh, at school, they were having a headache up, uh, from him. And me at home and the mother, we were having sleepless nights because of him. He was having too much energy. And he will speak for himself. When you say one, he says five. And eventually at the school where he was last year, they said, thank you, mama. Take him. Take him. And then we are enough. Because within six months, 10 pages of complaints were already written by the teacher. Problems after problem at school. Why he was there in, the, in that school? We as parents, we want our children to go to best school, the so-called best schools. And only to find that we neglect what God says. That we must teach our children in the way that they should learn and grow in. So that when they are old enough, they can continue to follow the ways of the Lord. Eventually this year, we found a school that... Um, is a Christian school. And now, Prosper, Prosper has changed. Prosper is saying the verses of the Bible. Prosper is talking about the stories of the Bible, the way they are, precisely. And there is peace now. Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ? Shall we clap for wonderful Jesus Christ once more? You can continue on. He is there in Sunday school. I think the teachers can also say, oh, we are having peace. They even ask some ways prosper because he is right here with me, praying with me, but they cannot uh, see his uh, that old actions. So I thank God of Shakaina, Glorious Faith Ministries. I thank our father for encouraging me that he is a good boy. He was talking the future of his life. And the ministers there, uh, uh, they were also saying, no, he doesn't have these other names, you know, these other names, ADHD and what, 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 what. They were not saying, they were saying, no, no, he doesn't have that. So I thank God because I managed to speak the word in his life. I managed to say you are a blessing. Your name is a blessing and you are going to serve God and you are going to pray. When I wake up at 12 and 3 o'clock, Prosper is here praying. God, go, 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 go. I want to hear you praying. I want to listen. Listen to what you are saying. He is here with me, waking up in the morning with me. So I thank God that he is transforming my grandson, and he will be what God wants him to be. 
Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Let someone say, when God is involved, say, when God is involved, transformation is inevitable. Say, transformation is inevitable. You can continue, Mama. I thank God for the restoration of my grandson, and I, I glorify his holy name. God is here, and I, I'm blessed to be in this ministry. The second testimony is about um, the day of the 15th. I will never forget that day, 15th of April 2024. I woke up, it was a Monday, I woke up as usual, praying, declaring, and uh, um, commanding my morning uh, because it is the first day of the week. So I woke up, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. After that, I felt the unction in my spirit to say, today you are going to put CVs in the, in the uh, uh, schools around uh, uh, your area. And then my area. So I, I, I woke up that day. I didn't even open the phone. I just washed and then went away and looked for the schools where I can put my CVs. And then... Behold, the last school where I put my CV, they said, we want an African teacher. I said, yes, I'm the one. They said, you can teach Africans. I said, yes. You know why I said that? Because for the past six months, there was a song that was singing in the inside of me. There's African song. I will sing the worship, the praise, but it will pop up just like that. That African song. I said, why is this song coming in my spirit just like that? But I didn't know that God was talking. God was saying something. And in that school, they said that they want an African teacher. I said, I'm available and I can teach Africans. You know, I, I, I last spoken Africans when I wrote my exam of, of grade 12. <laughs> and then uh, I said, yes, because that song, it, it was saying something. God was saying, you are going to get a job in an African school. I want you to be there. And before the day, before three o'clock, before they knock off, they said, I must bring my certificate. Seven days passed, they called me for interview. Last Friday, I started in my new job. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. And all the times. Hallelujah. Mama, please tell us more as to how the situation was before and currently after you are now employed officially. I, I stayed two years without working. I was not working at all. There was something that was in my heart to say, I must wait for God's time. God's time is the best time. That is why on that fateful day, I heard him clearly in my heart saying, this is your day, take CVs and go and put them in different schools. So, I thank God for that day, and as I'm waking now, I glorify God. It was difficult, it was not easy. Sometimes I couldn't come to church because, you know, the taxi fare and all that. So, um, it, it was not easy. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Hallelujah. Mama, as part of encouragement to those of us who are listening to you, what were some of the things that kept you going, encouraging you in your journey of faith? What kept me going? As we are in this prophetic ministry, we are a church that is praying. I, I tried by all means to connect in every service that we are having, in every prayer that we are having. When I had, I am having a, a 
money to come to church. I make sure that I come here to pray. So prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. To connect to Shakina Glorious Faith Ministries is the key because it's what keep one a spirit and, and faith to grow and to hold on until you one is getting his or her breakthrough. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mama, with what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, what more can you say about Prophet Isaka, the servant of God he used to restore your grandson and for you to keep on keeping on until you get your breakthrough? I think the anointing materials in this house, they are so powerful. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Let someone say, by the anointing, Jesus Christ breaks the yoke. Hallelujah. You can continue, Mama. The anointing material of this house, it, it, it took time for me to, to say yes to them. You know where we're coming from. We, are, we, are, we were not using these materials. Then when I started to say, Father, this is what you gave me. You, this is what you want me to use. When I started to open my heart, things started to, to work for me. Each and every day, I anoint my grandson, even now. I use the oil, I use the salt, I put the salt in his shoes, I put the salt in his books, and I, I put the, 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 the salt, yes, in his books and shoes, when he goes to school, I, and I anoint him. I wrap the oil in his body and, and the forehead and, the, and the behind the head. And then I anoint him all the time because this is power. This is God himself working, connecting with us wherever we go. Everyone, I will encourage, don't despise this. Don't uh, uh, forget this because the enemy will also make you to forget this anointing material. Let I us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Let someone say, I see God in this place. Say, I see God in this place. Hallelujah. People of God, the Bible said that the evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed. Mama, with what the Lord has done for you, what is your promise to God? My promise to God is to faithfully groom this young man for him. I will bring him to church no matter what. Because he also says with his mouth, Coco, when are we going to church? When are we going to the mountain? He asks me all the time. So I will make sure that he becomes what God wants him to be. Hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And with regards to your job, what, what are you giving, what are you promising God? Are you going to use your profession to glorify the name of the Lord? Indeed. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm born again. I'm the child of God. In that school, the good thing about it is that the principal is born again, is a, is a pastor. So I, I, I'm okay, I'm okay. I let, know that when I, whatever I say, it won't offend anyone. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. <laughs> Mama, with what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you, for your grandson and your family, what are your words of encouragement to those of us who are going through carryover, setbacks, stagnation in their careers, who are having troublesome grandchildren, children, and their acquaintances? What are your words of encouragement to them? Uh, stay put. Pray. Prayer is the key. Stay put. Study the word and then connect to all the platforms that we are having here. That, the one that you can connect in. Connect and revive your spirit man all the time so that the Holy Spirit, when he speaks to you, 
you can be able to understand that now he's saying something that you must do. So connect, study the word, and don't forget the anointing material. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ, people of God. Hallelujah. Mama, we rejoice with you for the glorious thing the Lord Jesus Christ has done for you. And we stand also here in the presence of God to encourage you to continue to use your profession to glorify the name of the Lord and to train your grandchild in the way of the Lord according to Proverbs 22 verse 6. And as you continue to do so, we surely assure you that better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. And you will soon come back for many, many more testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ.